That'll do it. Well, I do declare that it's been a it's been a long time since I've recorded something. The subject matter of today's video is uh, going to be a little different from my usual fare on this channel, which primarily consists of the air raid sirens. <laughs> that kind of go over that subject. Noisemakers, they're, they're loud, they're annoying, I understand. This video is a bit different. This is a video that is, I, uh, I have, honestly, it's been a very, very long time um, in the making, primarily because I didn't really, I couldn't necessarily find an appropriate means of going about um, going into it, I guess is the best way to say it, with the channel. Because of course, everyone knows my siren, my my channel is a siren channel. Um, but I've I've got other skills besides that. Let me actually turn off this air conditioner, which is just like screaming in the background. There we go. Are you done? You done? It's done. But this has been my uh, this has been my most recent project as of uh, as of now. This is a model of a like 1970s, 1980s-ish um, flat bottom jet boat that actually uh, actually does work. Um, it's, it's all remote control. It's got a outrunner brushless motor inside and a 90 amp speed controller. And of course, right now the batteries aren't inside, but of course it doesn't, it has two sets of batteries that you basically put in there and you control it with a remote control. The reason why I specifically chose to make this jet boat is because I I'm from California and um, every every year we go to vacation. Me and my family go to vacation at the Sacramento Delta, Sacramento Delta, California Delta, San Joaquin River Delta. It kind of has a whole bunch of different names. But this has been a long-standing family tradition that we've done every single year. And the last two years I haven't been able to actually go there. Um, and on those usual Delta trips that we had we went on as a family. Seeing jet boats were actually kind of a common fare. They're um, they're a very common thing to kind of find in California and generally like the West Coast in general. Um, they're just very very popular there. Not so much on the East Coast, but you, you definitely can still find them. But most of the people that had jet boats happened to be on the West Coast. Anyway, in order to kind of recapture some of that that I had a uh, lost over the past two years, I wanted to make something that reminded me of um, reminded me of home and fun with my family. So uh, I went ahead and just modeled it. This is a bit of a more, this is a bit of a free form kind of model. The paint is of course not perfect. That's my own fault by just kind of uh, not doing my due diligence when I'm actually doing the prep for it. I didn't sand it enough. That's my fault. But anyway, so the paint's kind of screwy in a couple spots. I think what's really interesting about these boats is that they are different from traditional propulsion units that you'd see in most common boats, but these boats operate with a jet pump. And the way that they work is they actually go and pull water in from the bottom of the boat. You can probably barely see the impeller that's up in there, but the impeller actually looks like this if you couldn't see it very well. So they pull water up from the bottom of the boat and then they basically throw it out the back and that's essentially about it so rather than have then behave like a traditional propeller where the boat is actually basically screwing itself through the water like just like a screw uh -huh. that's why they're called screws on ships but rather than screwing itself through the water it is exchange it is an exchange of inertia it is a reactive method of propulsion simple physics and it's a very very unique method of propulsion it's not really done all that all that much um, nowadays they're not super efficient methods of propulsion but they do have their own benefits they can be ran and operated in very very shallow water in addition to that they're a bit harder to foul because there's nothing underneath for them to get stuck on or caught on the only problem that they have that they do have and there's very few is that they actually don't have a steering control when they are powered off so say if you have the boat in neutral or whatever and you're not actually actively forcing water out the back of this nozzle there's no steering <laughs> so good luck if you're maneuvering towards some rocks and you want to stop in a hurry and then you're trying to turn away from them because you're going to keep going straight so here, here is the interior of the boat itself. So this right here is the actual jet pump itself. There's the 
suction case. That's what is actually pulling the water up from the bottom of the boat. And then in this suction right here, this is what's called the bowl, that is where the impeller lives. And here is kind of the inside section of what the bowl looks like. So the impeller sits right about like there inside the bowl and it does its thing. It goes ahead and it spins around pulling in water. And then these veins, which are in here, are called stator veins and they are there basically just to correct the flow path. Because as this impeller is spinning, it is imparting rotational movement to the water which is wasted energy. We're not trying to spin the water, we're trying to move it out of the way. And this nozzle, uh, you might have noticed, is a little bit different than that of the other one. This is because this has actually got a reversible nozzle on it, which is why it's a little bit longer, because these boats also don't have reverse, I should have mentioned. So the method of reversing these boats is, you actually just have this bucket, which goes down, and it blocks the nozzle, and then that water is then redirected out the bottom in order to pull the boat backwards through the water, thus reversing. But in my case, I made the reversible nozzle, but I didn't really find much of a use for it because commonly most RC boats don't have reverse. Um, so it's not something that I like can't live without. But enough of me yammering, let's go ahead and uh, show some of the uh, footage I have of going to the river today to actually show the boat driving and kind of getting you an idea of what it looks like. And of course, everything in here is 3D printed. It's 3D printed, it's just been painted. The only thing that's not 3D printed is stuff like the hardware and the motor and speed controller and stuff like that. So I've actually brought the boat out to the river right now. Um, this is the Saluda, but it's actually a bit windy today. So this is gonna be kind of interesting to see just basically how it reacts. Um, and there's actually a lot of debris that's also in the water. So I'm kind of, uh, kind of gonna try to take it easy. But because of how the wind kind of is today, I think ultimately what I'm gonna end up doing is trimming down that uh, that 15 degree up angle. And instead I'm just gonna flatten out the, uh, I'm gonna flatten it out a bit because I don't really want the, the front of the boat up really high in the air and catching wind and possibly risking flipping it over. So we're gonna go ahead and even trim it down um, 15 degrees because you actually can spin the whole thing. But let's get it. Let's get to it. So the nozzle itself is held on with just these little Phillips screws. You notice that there's actually on there. There is four. There is one, two, three, four. And then once you take the actual nozzle off to change the wedge, there's another four screws behind that, and you can take it and rotate it wherever you want to. Now, as I had stated before, this is kind of one of my main concerns, is that there's quite a bit of debris in the water today, just because of the wind. It's uh, blowing a lot of stuff off the trees and a lot of stuff um, from the roads into this river. So I'm kind of concerned about um, the jet pump actually sucking up some of that debris and then having problems with low water flow and then consequently low thrust. But let's go ahead and uh, give it a quick little try out.
hope you guys um, kind of enjoyed the uh, the ending. But um, that's going to just be basically about wrap it up for me today. If you stuck around to the end of the video, if you liked it, go ahead and leave me a like uh, a like right over there. Um, go ahead and drop a comment. Don't let me know what you thought. I definitely do want to do some more stuff um, related to it at some point. I'm kind of following the progress of it because as of right now, it's it's not necessarily complete. But yeah, stuff will change with the model as I kind of advance things. And uh, look forward to the Siren, the first episode of Siren 101 coming out uh, relatively soon because uh, people in the Discord have uh, kind of finally convinced me to actually just make the video. <laughs> and uh, just bear in mind it's going to be a long one. But if you are a new person here to my channel and you're not actually accustomed to uh, Sirens and you actually just clicked on the video because you saw an RC jet boat in it, um, Go ahead and uh, go ahead and check my, my channel. You might find some more interesting stuff in there that's uh, relative to 3D printing and um, kind of some engineering in general. But I would like to do a bit more, again, with um, with the jet boat and also just like some models that I end up making in the future that are not necessarily Siren related, but are some interesting engineering concepts or just interesting engineering in general. But And also we are approaching 2K subscribers, so that giveaway will be done relatively soon. So remember, if you're not, Subscribe now. You're not going to be entered in for the giveaway. I'll be giving away a random siren of my choosing, a model that is. And uh, if you are not subscribed, you're not going to be eligible for the giveaway. It's going to be some random subscriber of mine will be um, will be receiving a model as a uh, thank you for helping me get to 200 uh, to 2k subscribers. But yeah, that's going to be about it. Time for me to go and I don't know, work on something else now. Thank you.